Let's now do <laughs> improvising a rap. Very popular game, this. Everybody loves it. It's like Christians being thrown to the lions, only they do it to a drumbeat. Now, obviously you need a topic for the rap. Hang on, there's five... Soap operas. Soap operas. DIY. DIY. I think DIY is a great suggestion, actually, yes. Yes, OK, DIY rap. That's it. Starting with John Sessions, the DIY rap. <laughs> DIY is often done by a guy called Brian. Makes naff kind of banisters out of wood and plywood and wrought iron. And now and again, he breaks off and goes to talk to the wife, but most of the time he's happier with a Stanley knife. <laughs> yes, yes. The guy next door is driving me mad He's really all hammering, he really is sad He's trying to build himself a house But the guy just ain't as quiet as a mouse Well, you get yourself a hammer and you get yourself a drill And you save a lot of money on the decorator's bill You can drill all night, you can drill all day And you really save a lot of money that way, you know what I mean, you know? Well, well, uh, oh, yes, um, <laughs> oh, I, I shouldn't wonder. Um, no, uh, DIY is, um, well, it's, it's, um, <laughs> it's, in, it's injurious to the health. Um, it stands, for those who are interested, for do it yourself. Um, <laughs> I had, I have a terrible time with all these, uh, all these, um, you know, brackets and fixtures. Um, I, I tried to put a picture on the wall the other day, um, <laughs> <laughs> and essentially, I put, I put the wall on the picture. Um, <laughs> what the hell would wrong? Chobe <laughs> Chaka and Desmond Decker. They need a black and decker for the breaker. <laughs> and everyone knows that they like any kind of tool. Go back to be as thin as Marley's ghost on the islands. And finding a rhyme scheme, that's usually the rule. <laughs> Well, I went on down to MFI to see if I could find something for I. I couldn't find nothing that would fit together, but now I'm making something out of leather. But the guy next door, he's going to do it a lot faster because he's got, got himself a huge ghetto blaster. He's got himself the fuses and he's got himself the wires. He's going to do himself up in electrical fires. <laughs> Nearly. I um, I, I I do a bit of um, bit of uh, bit of DIY now and again. Um, well, it's a lot cheaper than you know. Than, well, paying the men. Um, I uh, ha, I uh, ha, ha, I uh, I suppose you could call me uh, you know something of a self-inflator, but I'm uh, I did it. Uh, Myself, and I'm a self-made man who worships his own creator. <laughs> well, I think that's one of the better raps we've had there. I think 50 points each, and a bonus 50 to John Glover, because it actually sounded like a rap both times round. <laughs> you won't be allowed to do it again. But... Right. Uh, we, we now come, in fact, to the last game of the evening, which is very sad, and this is called Bad Shut-Up Lines. The idea of the game is the contestants must uh, come up with the worst chat-up line in the world. To me, you've got to imagine I'm some gorgeous, pouting, blonde girl. Or what is probably even more difficult, some gorgeous, pouting, blonde man. But, uh, <laughs> no, probably make it, make it a girl. And just coming out with the, uh, the worst chat-up lines, as and when you, you think of them, just come to the microphone and, and do it. Hi, uh, I'm a regular contestant on Whose Line Is It Anyway? <laughs> Doesn't that work with you, then? <laughs> I managed to put up a shelf the other day, and uh, I don't know if you'd like to come and, and, and look at it, because uh, I've got one mug on it, and I think it looks kind of lonely on, it, on its own. <laughs> Hi. Um, I don't know if you remember me, um, but I was at that party where Jessica's sister was, you know, the one who's going out with Mark. And Mark said to me, well, there's this really fantastic girl living in our flat. Not you. Um, (laughs) 
Hey, sweetheart, come over here. Come over here. I'm not going to bother asking your name because I just called my girlfriend's bitch. <laughs> How about you and me get together, go back home and form a party? I've got some. <laughs> Bob says if you come back to my full house, opportunity knocks. So, have you ever had lunch at Buckingham Palace or what? Tomorrow could be the end of the world. <laughs> Would you be in any way offended if I said that you seem to me to be in every way the visible personification of absolute perfection? I think, you know, before we get down to bodies, we got to take a long look at our mind. <laughs> All right, we're ending that. Well, there it is. So that ends, that ends that round. It ends the game for this evening. And I just see the scores being totted up. And as we, plan as we uh, see, it's John Glover has won, which is, uh, which is rather exciting. Uh, a late run on the outside there doing the rap so well. So, as we, well, you know, the prize of winning is to get to read the credits out. And you do that in a style which I'll suggest. And why don't you do it like Melvin Bragg? So you, you'll have to do that when all the music comes on. But anyway, that's the end of the show, end of the series. It's all very sad. Uh, that's the end of the show featuring, featuring this week Stephen Fry, John Sessions, Rory Bremner. This is me, Clive Anderson, saying good night. Good night. Whose line is it anyway? Features Stephen Fry, John Sessions, Rory Bramner and John Glover. The show was devised and compiled by Mark Levinson with the producer, Dan Patterson. You're listening to BBC.